What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Get ready for another awesome day on the Old Towns Man. We're taking out the Sportsman Autopilot 120 yet again. If you guys wanna check this thing out, link is in the description. The thing is off the chain. If this is anything like our first day out on these, it's gonna be eventful. Torrance is on his way, he's joining me. He's gonna be taking over the PDL 106 for the day, the pedal drive. We're gonna have the one spot lock Minkota motor and have a lot of fun, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get the GoPro, start unloading this thing. Torrance will be here in about 10, 15 minutes. We're gonna get in the water. We're going for some bass today, boys. I got about four rigs in the truck. I'll tell you what we've got tied on and we are going to have at it. We're fishing all the way till sunset. It is about 6 p.m. right now, getting to be 6 p.m. So we got hours of enjoyment ahead of us. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, Torrance is pulling up. Got these things about ready. All right, well, simple as that. I'm about to put me a natural crawl on here. This place has been pretty stained in the past, and today it's looking crystal. Dude, this is not, this is not usual. T-rig up the old crawl. Just charged that FPV battery last night, y'all, so we should be good to go on them 50 amp hours. Motor's already down. It's a steep little bank right here, so I haven't even just got the nose in the water and it's fine with the clearance. A little breezy today, by the way, guys. 13 mile an hour wind, so today we can actually test out the spot lock feature. That's gonna be pretty sick. Pretty stoked for that. Uh, we've actually dropped the boat in here before, but that log that is sticking up right here is brand new. I have not seen that before. Oh, look at these little fish. All these little, little bluegill coming over to check out the, to investigate the crawl. I might get a cast or two while Torrance is still setting everything up. I almost thought I had a bite there for a second. About to try. What about you? Really? Yeah, I've, I've caught one uh, four, four and a half out of here before. That's about the biggest though so far for me. I know there's bigger. Dude, it's real clear. That's dope. Homie says a four and a half he pulled out yesterday. Yeehaw, cowboys. <laughs> you said a six how? Was that a three foot diver? <laughs> uh, I think we live. Two live. When we hit the last time, one for me? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Okay. You did not. Yo, I Mango appreciate that. Uh... Look, one cup holder, two cup holders. Two oh, cup my. holders. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna put this one in the shade though. I'll let that simmer for just a second. Thank you, man. Perfect, you know, just two of those. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is actually probably considered buzz driving with this thing. Hey, you gotta put numbers on that. It's a motor driven boat. No, nice. for real, you do have to, yeah. Like I gotta get it registered? Like, I don't know. I'm just a kayak owner, sir. <laughs> I oh, thought you've been on this. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, actually. You got like a couple minutes seat yeah. time. It's the Old Town Canoes PDL 106. So it's like 10 and a half feet, pedal drive, goes forward and reverse real easy. Uh, your man's about to have a good time with us. Oh yeah, for sure, man. And here we go. Oh, we got, we got company, hell yeah. Here. And I guess I'm hopping on right here like this. All right, Denon, let me see if this thing will get me off the curb. This would be interesting. Crank this thing up a little bit. I wonder if it's got enough power to get me off of here. I'm not really jeopardizing much, even though it's on concrete, because it's got that little rubber grommet on the body. So I think we'll be fine. Let me see what happens. Oh yeah, she good. All right then, peace out. <laughs> uh, you got steering on your right side. Yep, yeah, you just flipped it up actually. Hit that reverse. If you get grass on that prop, it don't run very well. Well, he's getting that dialed in. I should get the big rig dialed in. I don't know, man. Hit this brush pile first. What y'all thinking? Okay, I haven't had space for the camera, but it's actually looking like this is the perfect spot for it. Check this out. That might be the best quick access for the camera yet. I just unplug the mic. That way, if it bashes to the left, it doesn't break that input. So every time I get it out and want to film a little big camera piece, I just got to plug it in. That should be just fine, ladies and gents. All right, let's get lines in over here. First cast, crack and crawl, natural color. There we go, first cast. Oh, and he's the one who got away. I mean, come on now, how are we gonna let him go like that, Weston? That was a, that was a half, you know what I mean to say here, hook set. Literally like, <laughs> I thought I had a bite and I was not mistaken. Turns out they might be a little deeper, but off this brush pile is still good. Let's hit it again. Oh, that's a bite. There we go. Two casts in a row. Two casts in a row with the motor. Oh my gosh. Is this a joke? This must be, dude, this must be a joke. They're on the cross, boys. They are on the cross. Look, front rod holder. If this ain't the dopest yak, look, I'm gonna hit that spot lock button real quick so I don't uh, get away from my honey hole. Rumor has it, there's some bigger fish in here. We'll see you, bud. Crawls! Texas rig crawl! They said hi. Dude, what's absolutely crazy is I'm spot locked, but this boat isn't turning. The wind is blowing this way, so you would think this boat is gonna start turning around and I'm gonna face the opposite direction. And I think it's happening, but it's happening very slowly. Like if I was on the boat, 
the back end would be really bumping around. All right, here we go. I figured it was happening. We are spot locked though. <laughs> Dude. Oh yeah, Torrance is on another level too because he's normally on the uh, the paddle yak and today he's on the pedal yak, always getting him confused. That crawl was literally just sitting right in the brush when I got that last bite. I mean, this thing is loaded with bass usually. I mean, it's like the heat, the heat of the day and they're kind of hanging out in all this stuff. A little bit of shade from the brush, I guess, is what's doing it. Where's that next bite? I'm spot locked. I might just have to flip around here. We'd be aight. Oh, in the trees. <laughs> Double dig. Oh, speaking of, oh no. I just got smacked in that little pocket. Dang it. Crawls are getting wasted out here. All I know is I need to text bows my hook. Come on, fishy, come back. Same spot. Ooh, I'm in the thick. Dude, you got some strong line. Oh my God. It's got space under the seat too. There's like a mesh deal. There's like a layer you can put boxes and stuff on the fly. Wouldn't it be nice? Dude, what is going on? I mean, I was getting smacked every cast for two in a row. They're aware of our presence at this point. All right, making a move. Chatter don't, chatter don't. This is feeling good. Yeah. He said, come on, the bite's on good. <laughs> oh, that's my bad. <laughs> All right, this ain't gonna work. I gotta get some more line out. This is the, the struggle with kayak fishing, y'all. Let me try this again. I gotta leave adequate line out to toss this in the rod holder up here so that she's secured while I get my catch. Well, okay, if I could. He turned that crow into a Ned Rig real fast. Those pinchers said I'm off. All right, all right, the wind is actually blowing y'all, so I'm gonna hit that spot lock real quick, stay on my location. This yak is, dude, I don't know, I don't know how I dealt with anything else, man. Look at that, second fish of the day, real breezy, spot lock the location. Uh, if that was a little windy, we're gonna be hitting this brush a little bit more. We'll see you, bud. Where'd I put my crawls? Spot lock is doing its thing today, boys. 13 mile an hour winds and I'm on the juice. I mean, the fish are in here stacked. I've been catching them left and right and she's keeping me in position. This is so sick. Oh, spot lock is doing its thing. What are we doing? Imagine if you had to paddle all the way back up here. <laughs> that thing will go faster than this. All right, re-rigged boys. What do we got in here? I know there's more on this thing. I've just been yanking them out of here. You got it or not? Come on, man, don't just bite and leave me hanging. They are on the crawls, man. I don't know, you might make a switch. I, I tear them up on crawls here. Yeah, that cracking crawl, dude, they are smoking it right now. I gotta wait for you. I'm trying to just let that fall and not interrupt that fall, guys. That good flutter all the way down through those tweeds and trigs. That's when you're gonna get those hits, man. So all I'm doing is I, was, I cast it and I'm keeping the line real, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of almost raising the rod tip as it falls down because the wind is pushing the line, which is creating slack and I'm not able to feel those bites. So right after I cast, I'm slowly raising that rod tip. The bait is still falling, but again, that wind's pushing it. So I just want to keep it to where if a bass bites, I feel it and I know to set that hook. So that's kind of the name of the game right now. I'm just trying to hit every little nook and cranny, every different piece of surface area along this brush before I move down a little bit. A T-Rig weight is what you need, right? <laughs> he said. <laughs> it's a good life, man. This is insane, spot lock. All right, this is good. Let's get the crawl back in the water. What an insane experience. This is easier than the boat. Don't gotta worry about nothing. Crankbaits are good over there. It's rock and it goes down, yeah, flukes. Yeah, it's clear. It's clearer than it's ever been. I've, I haven't really considered throwing a fluke here before. Oh, bluegill. Bluegill just crunching it. Do, 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 like it's def. Yeah, he took a pincher. Lame. Dude, more bluegill, all right. Jeez. Hot swap. Oh. I don't know if that was a bass or a bluegill, but I just got hit. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Twice, bro. Oh, that was dope. I had to set the hook because my, my rod's right here. <sighs> All right, let's make a little move now. Frog ain't really getting it like we were hoping. We fit in the hop, skip, and jump across this place, y'all. Start from the right and go that way or start from the left and go that way on the back? All right, yeah, I think that's good. We're kind of going up into the wind, y'all, four miles an hour. All right, y'all, we have made it to the crankbait region, but I'm throwing a, <laughs> I'm throwing an underspin. <laughs> Looks like Torrance working the jerkbait. I've just pretty much standardly always thrown a crankbait in this area. You can see it's like rock all on the bank there. This is all just kind of a rock bottom, so 
I might have to revert to a crank in just a second. I'm sure both of what we're throwing is gonna catch fish, especially because it's crystal clear. Maybe it'll be just as good or better, but a crank, you can just rip right through here, bounce on the bottom, so. We will uh, update you guys here in just a second whether we get a bite or not. I do know this will attract a big bite though. This is that uh, 4.8 inch saucy swimmer in the Gobi color. Oh, 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 Torrance is on. Okay, see, there we go, man. With that beast owner hook, with that owner beast hook underspin, it's actually called the flashy swimmer. And uh, it looks like the jerk bait is working. Nice, man. First fish on the PDL. Here we go, I'm down there in the trees, long cast. That's what I've been needing to do is cast further. Really get out there where they haven't seen the kayak yet. So clear, they see us coming from a mile away and they get on edge. Wow, how did I not get a bite right there? Very interesting. Maybe I should send the sauce down there. Alrighty then, back to the craw it is. Jesus Okay, how many blow-ups have I got that I've missed at this point? What just happened? <laughs> that just smashed right into me. I saw that frog coming right at me. Oh my gosh. Like, what is going on? Can somebody just please eat this frog? <laughs> Don't just look at it, eat it, man. That was pretty funny though. Such a confusing night, so nice out. I'm just expecting to get a lot of good fish, I guess. I don't know. That was probably a bluegill too. It has been a night of bluegill. Man, I gotta tell you, I did not think this kayak was gonna be this good. I've seen people like my buddy Yak Pack, you guys know TJ, Mark, MDLR Fishing, Nick, Arx, Angler. I've seen people getting these kayaks and I guess I've just been not a hater at all, but maybe like a doubter. Like maybe it wasn't that good. I don't know. But this is absolutely insane. I'm just standing the entire time. Spot lock works just as good, if not better, than our like $3,300 Garmin force trolling motor. I mean, literally, it keeps you pinned as soon as you hit the button. And I just, uh, again, I had my doubts. Thing is nuts, dude. Super stable. I'm sure my, my time to fall off this thing is coming, but it's been good so far. The ability to just kind of if I want to angle towards the bank, just hit the button real quick and just angle right towards the bank is just crazy. You don't have to hardly lift a finger. If I want to just move down the bank a little bit and hit it a little bit further, literally just point it to the left, hit the button. Right now I'm on six, so I'm just above like halfway through the power output. Uh, it goes all the way up to the 10 setting and half step increments. So I found if you're on like four or five, it won't really jar you too much if you're, if you're standing up. But if you're on like, you know, seven, eight, anything above seven, I would say, you gotta have your sea legs. Otherwise, when you gotta hit that prop button and make a move, you might just almost tip yourself over. See, now I'm starting to angle, the boat's starting to angle this way, right? So normally I'd have to sit down and adjust with the pedals or start paddling on the left side. All I gotta do is hit the right button and then give it the old one, two. Uh, spot lock you guys saw was excellent today. Have not tested it out at all until today. And it was absolutely amazing. Kept me in place and 13 mile an hour winds with probably 15, 16 gusts. And we're just getting started, man. It literally didn't even sound like it was breaking a sweat. Silent operation. I mean, it wasn't scaring the fish. I was real close to the brush pile. Looking forward to getting this thing out even in 15, 20 mile an hour winds and not having to worry about a thing. It's gonna be cool to show you guys some real world testing of that because I don't see it done a whole lot. On well, the next day it's windy, we'll break it out again. Boys, Texas rig is not hitting tonight. I'm thinking we drop it down. Let's see if I got any drag and drops handy. Okay, okay. This green pumpkin pearl color is actually looking pretty good right here. It almost looks like a natural, really. If you guys are used to throwing the natural color, this looks very similar. And I think it will entice a bite. That is for dang sure. We gotta finesse it down because when the craws aren't hitting here, something's going on. I'm gonna chunk out deep for a second because they're just not hitting in most of the usual spots. Top water hasn't quite kicked up yet. Let's see what's out here off this island. I think we got one. There we go. That's not a bass. It's too light. Oh, it is. <laughs> got a little one on the drag and drop. There we go. Just gotta finesse it down a little bit. Solid work. I figured that might do the trick. Going around for an hour, nothing. Soon as you get, drop it down to the little worm, you get a bite. <laughs> 
sweet. All right, we're right here off the island now. Let's see who wants to bite. Has got it. Yep. Oh, he came off. Come on. There we go. There we go. Get up in here. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, bud. Get in the boat. I know you want to. Oh, all right. They're starting to cruise around over here. All right. All right. All right. All right. We'll take that. I'm sure a big one will hit the drag and drop. That's man. As I'm re-rigging, just got to remind you guys, fishing has never felt so effortless on a kayak. I mean, re-rigging, staying put without an anchor, right when you, and you can move, the thing is you don't even have to like, you could have an anchor and you could essentially spot lock, right? But then if I want to move on a moment's notice, I just move across the spot and then I can lock right next door. I mean, it's just, this is a cool little gadget right here. You're paying a price for it, but at the same time, I mean, John boats can get expensive, just depends on if you buy new or used. Like if you're going to find a deal, you can get the stuff on the cheap, of course. I'm not gonna argue that. You can find a cheap kayak, you can find a cheap John boat. And a lot of people will make the argument that you don't need to spend this much money. Then there's plenty of people who are looking for something like this to spend the money on because they realize the value in it. So I see both sides. Uh, the thing is just, it's ridiculous. In my opinion, this 120 size really takes it over the top. Um, that PDL 106 is great, but for me, since I'm shorter, so this is for me specifically, when you're sitting down on the pedal drive and you're like, and you're at the proper height for the pedals, you don't have that much deck space. If you're taller, you can scoot the seat back and you have a lot more deck space opened up because you can still reach the pedals good. So there's kind of like a trade off on that little 106 as far as deck space goes, if you're like five, seven, like me, I'm getting more bites, but I don't know if it's bluegill or bass or if this guy's got it. It feels kind of heavy. Nope. He missed it. Or not, he missed it. I missed it. I don't know. We missed each other. Good news, y'all. We're starting to get hits. Something just had it again. They're going to be ferocious. You see, he's biting. He's biting. He's biting. Oh. Oh, no. Done messed around and lost my weight. <laughs> you on them? I mean, I've caught like six baby fish, but that's it. They're really small. Yeah, I'm catching the small ones now, too. I've been just sticking to the Texas rig, but I switched it up to the drop shot, and now I'm actually getting some bites. Bye. Yeah, Torrance is on like six fish, he says. I think I've had this guy on here for a second. Oh, he just came off. I might make my way back over to where we first started just to see what's up. I'm testing out this feature where uh, it's this button right here where you keep your same heading, your same direction. So it's showing me like the degrees at which I'm traveling. And I guess, yep, it looks like the motor is correcting. So I should just be heading straight to the brush pile without having to mess with the motor. Now that is cool. What this is telling me is like sometimes with this, what I found I have to do is I like kind of correct the motor left to right as I'm on my way to the spot if I'm really wanting some control. But it's looking like I can turn the motor down and it's looking like I can literally cruise on the one speed over to the spot I want to hit and kind of fish on the way there. And this is going to hold my direction so I don't have to be thinking about going left to right. I'm going to get right to that brush pile I want to hit and on the way I can fish on the lower speed. It's showing you that it's in that mode right now. Pretty slick. I'm going 0.6 miles an hour on the uh, one speed here. I'm going to use this a lot. If I just want to go along the coast of a bank, you can keep it going your same direction. This is going to be killer. I wasn't too sure about that button the first time I took the yak out, but things are looking pretty good now. And it might be harder for it to keep the heading on a lower speed, to be fair, just because if it needs to make a correction, this, the propeller is going so slow. That's when cruise control might also help. Cruise control allows you to keep the same speed whether it's like real windy or choppy or not and it will like adjust the prop speed based on the current i mean the thing's got the features dude <laughs> another one for the fish tank i'm good at catching these ones well i was switching my gopro battery and i got a bite as soon like on the fall so I gotta at least reel this guy in before I switch it. Definitely my biggest one in the other night. This one might be like a pound and a quarter. Oh, 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 that might be three pounds. Oh, he's three pounds. <laughs> how you like that finesse gear? <laughs> this is how you have some fun right here. They never know what it's gonna be till it gets to the boat with the Western Channel. <laughs> See you three. I don't know if the top water is going to turn on tonight. I just had bites again. I might have a fish on. It's so tough to tell with this little rod. <laughs> oh, he choked it, I bet. Oh, okay. I see it right on the lip. That's good. That's a good sign. Oh, dude, this one. Okay. All right. We're upsizing. Oh, oh, well, there goes my five. 
Don't mind me just trying to get this Instagram post ready for you guys. I've only posted once today. Ooh, that looks okay. I like that. Little vignette. Let's go with it. The proper crop for Instagram. Well, not the proper crop for Instagram, but the one that gets you the most real estate is 8x10. In case y'all didn't know that. And there we go. Got the post up. And I always make a comment. I've got a shortcut where if I write hashtag with an E, it brings up my 30 hashtags. And I just make that the first comment on the post. So... That's how I get my hashtags done so quickly. Always add location. That's that. Go drop that photo a like, guys. Thank you so much. All right, man, it's 840. We are getting out of here. It's getting dark. I got the steering going on with the pedals. Torrance right behind me as we test this thing out even more every day. We're loving the thing so far. This is only the second time out. Can't wait to show you guys even more features and stuff that I haven't figured out yet. Drop down in the comments what you think we should do with this kayak in future videos, and we'll see you on those. Peace out, y'all. <gasps>